So this month, my darling baby Cairo, she turned one, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. I let you guys in on her baby shower so I couldn't leave you hanging for her first birthday. Let me show you how it went. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button. You don't wanna miss out on future episodes. I was so excited about coming up with the theme of Cairo's first birthday party. I was gonna do it at this fun play center because I knew that there were gonna be a lot of kids at the party and I just, you know, I wanted it to be fun. But then at the last minute, I just changed my mind. For some reason, it just wasn't feeling right. I really, really wanted to make this party special. I started to think of her baby shower. Her baby shower, it had like the boho theme and even her room has like this boho vibe to it. So I said, why not carry on with that theme and just do that concept with her birthday? And I just started to get really, really excited. I started to think, I could do this in my backyard. You know, I have a lot of space. I was like, why don't we have tables that are like low to the ground and just put rugs on the ground with pillows so that people can sit down and feel comfortable and eat. I also wanted the party to be great for adults and for kids. I mean, but let's just say this at the end of the day, this is like a disclaimer here. Really the party, I think, shouldn't just be for the kids, okay? The party should be for the mom, all right? Because being a mom, a working mom at that, man, it was pretty darn hard. And I believe I shared that with you guys, you know, because I have a husband that works and travels, you know, outside of the state. I'm at home, I'm working as well. But anyway, my point is a lot goes into taking care of this human being, taking care of this little child. With that said, I wanted it to be a great party so that adults can enjoy and a great party for kids. So what was really important for me was to keep the kids entertained and busy, right? A way of doing that was making sure that there were certain sections that were put up for them to be entertained. And let me tell you, the hit was definitely the teepees and the band. The kids just loved these teepees. Half of the time I was like, where's Cree? Where's Cree? And Cree was always in that teepee with a bunch of his friends. There were books in there, there were stuffed animals, there was pillows so the kids can get really nice and comfortable. And not only that, for entertainment, we had this incredible band that was playing fun, energetic um, music. There was this um, one song that actually the adults started to partake in, like my sister and myself. Um, it was the freeze, I guess, dance where, you know, you would start dancing, they would play the music and then they would say freeze and you would have to freeze. It was just, so much fun. For me, putting a smile on children's faces, it just brings me so much joy. And to see all of the kids just dance and be entertained by this band was just so magical. It was just a lot of fun. So my favorite part, <laughs> besides the food um, and the bar, um, was the flower crown station. And it was a great way to bring in flowers in a creative way. All of the guests could have this flower crown made for them. Cairo and myself, we had matching flower crowns and I was actually shocked that my daughter kept this crown on her head like almost the whole party. It was so beautiful to see all of the girls wearing these flower crowns. It was like Instagram picture worthy, you know? What I did with my flower crown and my daughter's flower crown, I hung them up and we're drying them out. So it actually makes for a great souvenir. So my daughter, she absolutely loves mermaids. She has like three mermaids in her crib right now. So I just had to have a mermaid at this party. And I'm like, hmm. How do we get a mermaid into the pool? <laughs> you just carry her in. You get her from the ocean, right? You ask her, hey, do you wanna come to a party? She's like, oh yeah. But you know, I have to make sure that I, I need to be carried. I'm like, sure, totally, we got that. And we just lowered her into the pool and there you have it. We had a mermaid at Cairo's first birthday. And what was so cute was she had like this little 
a treasure chest, and when you would open it, it had these cute little bracelets that all of the kids could enjoy. When I brought Cairo over to meet the mermaid, she actually gave Cairo the little bracelet, and she put the bracelet on Cairo's little tiny wrist. It was just so cute. What's really important to me is the people that come to my parties, you know, it's, it's, it's very, it's an intimate gathering, so it's very family to me. A lot of these people I've known for maybe 10 years, and then there are some new people that I've met that are, that are special to me. My sister and her children, my nephew and my niece, and her husband, they were there. I also invited my cast from my show, Family Reunion, that will be on Netflix soon. You guys have to check that out. Loretta Devine, who is a cast member, she came to the house and she was just kind of scoping the party and then she pulled me aside. She said, how do you know so many people with so many kids? <laughs> it was the cutest thing. And I said, well, you know, what's so funny is we've known these people for such a long time and we've all just grown together and we've built families together. And, and that's just what's so, warm about, you know, inviting people that you've known for such a long time. It just it just makes for a great, intimate, warm, loving atmosphere. So who was in the house was my dad, who I absolutely love. Oh my gosh, my dad is so funny. And then both of my brothers, Tavier and Taj. We had my son, Cree. <laughs> Cree is so funny. Also, what I think is just so endearing to watch is, you know, my son Cree, he's like the oldest out of all the, the, the children in the family. And he definitely takes that role seriously. He's always kind of making sure everything's okay. He's always kind of like dictating everybody's next move. He's like making sure like, like everybody's behaved. It is just the cutest thing. And they love each other. I always tell, well, people always ask like, you know, how is the dynamic with your sister's kids and your kids? And I'm like, you guys, it is something that is so beautiful and wonderful to watch. There's just so much love between all of these kids. And the laughter is something that you definitely want to bottle up and put a little seal on top in a bottle because there's just, so much joy when these kids are around. And again, when I see that they're having a great time, then that makes me happy. So let's talk about fashion, okay? <laughs> when my brother Taj saw me for the first time in this dress, he was like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, yes, that's the reaction that I wanted. I wanted to have this kind of fun, whimsical, relaxed, but chic and cute, boho look. I had tried on, you know, lots of dresses. When I tried this dress on, it was the first dress that I tried on and I just knew that it was it. The designer is Amour and it was just such a fun, whimsical dress. The fabric was just perfect for the party. It had all of the colors that I wanted. It was just really flowy and the movement was really nice and fun. And I knew that I was gonna be running from place to place and you know dealing with a lot of the kids. So I wanted to look nice, but also feel very comfortable. And that's what I loved about that dress. Finding the perfect outfit for my daughter. It's so funny how I said I was not gonna be the mom to like, put her in tutus and all that and like big bows. Oh my gosh, you guys, that ship has sailed. <laughs> she has like a tutu section, okay? You know how there's like racks? There's like a rack that you have that you put clothes on? She has a rack of tutus in her room now. It is like the cutest thing. Oh my goodness. She had, you know, changes <laughs> for the day. She had this amazing, cute, romper outfit. It was purple. I thought it was a great color for the party. And then she had this cute preppy sweater with a bow that went with it. It's by Janie and Jack, and it, it's just the most adorable outfit. And then later on, when it was time to cut the cake, she got into this really cute, like, I don't even know what to call it. It had like um, this fun, cool kind of tool chiffon stuff like all over it. She had these cute little ballet slippers that had the chiffon fabric that was used in the tutu. And she had this 
Beau, oh my gosh. I worked with an amazing stylist. Her name is Judy, and if you want to follow her on Instagram, it's Judy Style XO. We can't forget about Cree. Judy and I, we came up with this incredible idea where we were gonna put Cree in suspenders. Like, Cree has never worn suspenders before. I wanted to make sure that he was comfortable, you know, but yet I wanted him to tie into the theme as well of the party. So we got him these cute shorts from Zara with this white shirt, and we put suspenders. Oh my gosh, he looked so handsome. And then also, we had a bar. <laughs> we had a full bar so that the adults can drink and have a great time, celebrate family, celebrate motherhood, just celebrate being parents. So I wanted to make sure that we had a cocktail bar. Whenever I think of a party, you know, like a kid party, I always think about lemonade. So I knew that I had to have some sort of cute little lemonade stand there. Even though there wasn't a stand, but we had, you know, a section of lemonade and the kids loved that. The food, food, glorious food. Now you know I love me some food, right? Food for me is an important component to any party. If the party is great and the food is not so great, people tend to really remember that the food was not so great. It's like, yeah, great party, but oh God, the food. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that the food was delicious and I am telling you, it was. I know whenever I show up at a party, I always show up hungry. Am I the only one? <laughs> I hope I'm not. Sometimes I get impatient waiting for the food. You know, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm hungry. Like, please, I want something to eat now. So I was like, we definitely have to have some appetizers, but I also wanted the appetizers to be kid and adult friendly. So we served three appetizers. One of them were these um, mac and cheese balls. And I know that kids absolutely love mac and cheese, so I wanted to do that specifically for them. And then we had empanadas, and then we had some quinoa shooters. This is like more of a, a healthier dish maybe for vegans out there, or vegetarians who didn't want to eat you know, cheese or chicken. I wanted to come up with a kid-friendly menu. So I decided to have chicken fingers and potato wedges and some fruit. Chicken fingers happens to be my son's favorite and it's actually a, a kid favorite so I knew that that would go well with the kids. It was also served in cute paper plates with different types of dipping sauce and it was definitely a hit. I also wanted the style of the preparation and just the way it was served to be, again, very family, very relaxing, and very intimate. So it was served, you know, family style with the choices of entrees, et cetera. I was actually working on my show, Family Reunion, when I was doing all of this. I'm telling you, I am a hell of a multitasker, okay? I'm like in between, you know, takes. Okay, all right, Corey, all right, we gotta come up with a menu. Okay, 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 wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, uh, okay, Corey, I gotta go, I gotta shoot this scene. I'll shoot the scene and then get on the phone. All right, Corey, what, what, what did you wanna do? So Corey and I, we actually came up with this menu together. We definitely said we wanted some chicken for the chicken lovers and then people who didn't wanna eat chicken, we wanted to provide fish. And then also for the vegetarians out there or the vegans, we wanted to provide a pasta dish. So that's exactly what we did. We had this chicken dish that was marinated with olives, and oh my gosh, you guys, the chicken was so tender. <laughs> I can still taste it in my mouth right now. It was so good. When I know that it's a good party is when my dad goes, Tia, he's like eating, he's like, Tia, this is first class, this is first class. <laughs> Love you, dad. But that's when I know I'm doing a good job. And then the salmon came out. Oh my gosh. The salmon had this butter sauce with capers. Oh my gosh, it was so incredibly good. And then we had wild rice to serve with that. Corey definitely wanted wild rice. He like He's like on this wild rice kick right now. <laughs> he like loves wild rice. And then we also had some roasted vegetables. I mean, and these vegetables were roasted and charred to perfection. So it's now time for dessert, right? Of course we're gonna have a cake, but I wanted to do something special for the kids. I know that kids love lemonade and kids love what? Cookies and milk. I am telling you, the adults truly enjoyed this section. It was called Cairo's Cookie and Milk Station. When we moved on to this station, 
The adults would say, man, be careful about eating a cookie because you can't just stop at one. <laughs> and then I'd run into another guest. They're like, dude, I'm already on my fourth cookie. These cookies were so good. They weren't just your regular average cookie, man. They had several different flavors. So we had, you know, the regular chocolate chip. And then we had chocolate chip with caramel and salt. You had a choice to have either strawberry milk to go with your cookies, chocolate milk to go with your cookies, or regular milk to go with your cookies. And then only in LA, I mean, I came prepared, we had some almond milk. <laughs> my favorite was the strawberry. Oh my gosh, the strawberry milk was so delicious with the cookies and yeah, I had about four of those too. So now it's time for the cake. I thought the cake was beautifully done. Susie Cakes, they are like my favorite. If I'm gonna indulge in some cake or some cupcakes or cookies, I'm going with Susie Cakes. So they did her cake and it definitely tied into the theme. You have the flowers on top and I love the way the icing wasn't completely all around the cake. You kind of saw little bits of the cake making it just seem really nice and organic. So I thought that was very beautiful. And not only did she have you know, a cake, she also had her own smash cake. <laughs> but what was so funny, she didn't want anything to do with the smash cake. Like she literally looked at it like, hmm, what is this? She's too much of a lady to, you know, smash into the cake. But my son, on the other hand, Cree, he dove into that on his first birthday. All right, you guys, so if you enjoyed her first birthday party and you wanna relive the baby shower, make sure you click the annotation right there. What's up? <laughs> and I'll see you over there. Bye guys.